What up world, it's your girl Stephanie and today I have a favorite for you. All the good stuff that is on my face, let's talk about that. Before we get into it, if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. I am feeling extra sassy today, can't really go into why, but I'm sure some of y'all can assume, like what is the number one thing that make women mad? But I'm glad to be filming this right now because I'm gonna be talking about things that make me truly happy, which are products that make my face look good. And I feel like my face has been looking pretty, pretty, pretty good lately. So let's get into the skincare first. I have three fresh products. Honestly, I still use a bunch of my other products. Like I use my pharmacy, my Ulla Henriksen, my La Mer. Just got some La Mer stuff that I'm testing out. But I've really like dove in. I have, what? I've gone all in with the pharmacy, okay? So first of all, we're gonna be talking about this Umbrian Clay Purifying Face Exfoliant. I haven't always been a huge exfoliator person. I think it's just cause I hadn't found the right one. A lot of exfoliators to me, they will leave like a film on the skin or they will strip it way too much. And I feel like this one is just this perfect in-between point where your skin feels as clean as if you were to wash it with one of your favorite cleansers, but it doesn't strip the skin of all its good stuff. This exfoliant is part of Fresh's Umbrian Clay line. I actually have another product from this line in my favorites, but Umbrian Clay is supposed to be very purifying. Uh, it's supposed to minimize pores, but not be stripping. This exfoliator also has natural bamboo and olive exfoliants, which gently polishes away dulling dead skin cells, and meadow sweet extract, which helps to control oil and shine. So for all my oily peeps out there, you can check out this line in particular and this exfoliant. I really do like um, the texture of it too. It's not too harsh but it definitely has enough grittiness in there where you feel like you can rub it into the skin for a while and not damage the skin, but it is getting all into nooks and crannies and getting that dead skin, that flaky skin out of there. Okay, next two skincare products are masks. I have been very into the multi-masking thing. So first we have the Fresh Umbrian Clay Purifying Mask. This is just a beautiful, clay mask, extremely purifying. It is like the exfoliant, but on a whole other level. It really just like sucks up all the oils out of your nose, out of your pores. Like you can actually see it happening. It's one of those clay masks where you apply it and you leave it on for just a few minutes. This one actually you're only supposed to leave it on for three to five minutes. It dries down very quickly. And then once it dries down to like a light gray, you can start seeing like little oil spots come out, like in the Glam Glow Mask, it does that too. I feel like fresh products are all about that balance, right? It is a purifying, clarifying mask, but it isn't super stripping and it leaves your skin feeling really nice still, even if you don't have super oily skin or you have combination skin. If you are concerned a bit about it being like too stripping, one, you could just leave it on for less time, or you could do the multi-masking a tip that I learned from Estee Lalonde, who learned it from Lev, and it is after applying this and leaving it on for like three, four minutes, you put the rose face mask. This is a mask made with real rose petals, super hydrating, it smells amazing. Oh my gosh. You put this on top of the Umbrian clay mask. So you're adding moisture back into it before it even has a chance to maybe dry down. You know, I feel like this is just as effective, not the same as probably applying the uh, Umbrian Clay Mask, rinsing it off, and then applying the Rose Face Mask afterwards, but like you're saving some time, it's really fun to rub this mask into your face, <laughs> like with the clay as well. And maybe you're giving your skin a little bit more time with the clay to try and purify as well. Uh, this is a tip, like I said, that came directly from one of the founders of Fresh. I have been doing it. I've done it now like three, maybe actually no, 
four times. My skin just been feeling real happy and I've been using a lot of fresh products. So if you're looking into giving your skin a little bit of clarity, a little purification, you can look into some of these fresh products. I've been consistently wearing this same combo on my eyes now for, I don't know, a month and a half, two months maybe. It is this combo, this Hourglass and Super Goop. Super easy eye look. So first of all, I start off with the Super Goop Shimmer Shade SPF 30 in Golden Hour. This is one of three colors that they have. This is the light, goldy, shimmery, beautiful color. I use it as a base on my eyelid. I apply this all the way up to the brow bone. Just a really light sweep. I never go really heavy handed with this because this in general just makes for a wonderful base to put other makeup on top of. Like if you're trying to like blend out some other makeup, this is so good. It just makes a very smooth canvas. But I like it, you know, cause it has an SPF 30. So I'm protecting myself all the way around my eyes. And then I take the Hourglass, the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in Blaze. Holy crap. I don't, this, this stuff has been out for a while and I didn't start using it till a couple months ago. I don't know, I've just been sleeping on it. It is so pretty. It is just this pot of shimmery, glittery, copper, rose, goldy gorgeousness that I've only been wearing this, really, so much of this. It's so easy. Again, I just take this with my finger and I apply it just all over the lid and maybe dip back in here. Like I can do just one dip all over the eye, but if I want it to be more intense, I'll do two dips. And then I just kind of bring it slightly above the crease of my eye. A lot of times I just blend it out with my fingers and it blends into um, the super goop really, really well. It does blend on its own well as well, <laughs> but I think it does better on top of the super goop. Sometimes if I need to, I'll use a fluffy brush just you know on the crease, but uh, a lot of times I don't need to do that at all. Like I said, this is seriously like all I've been wearing. It is so fast, like literally just takes me a couple minutes to do my eyes now. I've never had a faster, more beautiful, and blended I look in my life. So if you're looking into these, like I love both these products so much individually. I know that Hourglass has more colors. I've definitely used some of the other colors as well, but Blaze is for sure my favorite, but I, I feel like I need to look at more because I think I have, I think I have three. No, I only have two of these, I think. So I need to see if there's more options for this guy in particular. I've had my lips on for a while now. Ooh. The worst thing is if you know when you're talking for a really long time, and you haven't like drank water or something. This happens to me when I'm talking on camera. Maybe you're dehydrated and then you get that like white line on the oh, on the inner mouth. That is honestly, it's, it's, it's one of my biggest pet peeves. For some reason it always happens like only when I'm talking on camera. So I'm always like checking myself for it. Why does that happen? Please, if anyone knows like the scientific reason for that happening. I just feel like it's just a lot of talking and it just, it's like spit bubbles, just create drying. I don't know, oh God, that's really gross to think about. But anyways, we're gonna be talking about some lip stuff right now. <laughs> um, I have been using a very simple combination of lip products lately. First of all, we have the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat. This is the reshape and resize lip liner in Super Size Me. It is a really great match for my lip color. What I do is I'll just line around my lips very lightly, maybe fill it in a, a, a tiny bit, and it definitely makes my lips look a bit fuller. I don't like sometimes the full on like lipstick, lip gloss look, you know? Sometimes it just looks a little bit too goopy for me. I want my lips to look like maybe like just has a bit of lip gloss on top. So in this way, you kind of fill in some empty gaps, just make your lips look a little bit more defined. That's the word I'm looking for. Makes your lips look a little bit more defined, then you can put lip gloss on top. So if you're looking for a good lip liner in general, just as a neutral lip color, I really, really like this one. And it's very smooth and it stays, doesn't budge kind of situation. Uh, for lip glosses, what I have been really liking is the Patrick Ta lip gloss. The one I'm wearing right now is is she younger than me? Wow, what a loaded lip gloss title. <laughs> In the tube, it looks like a peachy pink 
but it does come out quite sheer. Probably the most glittery lip gloss that I've put on my lips that I actually have liked. Both of the ones that I'm gonna talk about. I have never really liked glittery lip glosses, but I really do like these ones. It has glitter in there without looking chunky. Like some glittery lip glosses make your lips look kind of crazy. This just like adds to it, adds something a little bit extra, but there is definitely a lot of glitter in here. It lasts for a really long time. I love how the formula feels. I hate sticky lip glosses, lip glosses that aren't actually glossy. There are so many of them out there. I don't know how companies are doing this still. Like you pile on a bunch of lip gloss, but it doesn't really have that shine. This one has that shine, you know, and it has the glitter. It's just a really beautiful product. It definitely has a tint to it because this one right here, which is called She's Expensive. This one is like the sheer version. It is um, on the silver side because the glitters in there are silver. Um, I don't like a lot of silvery lip glosses, but this one isn't the kind that's gonna make you look like, uh, oh my God, what's that like? You know, that like Xenon, uh, Disney Channel kind of silver lips. It's a, a modern day silver, I would say. And for this one, I would just wear it on my lips as is without any um, lip liner on. Also packaging of these, just beautiful. I really love the applicator especially. It is a doe foot applicator, but it's not one of those rigid doe foot applicators. It's quite bendy, quite flexible, so it can really you know, conform to the shape of your lips quite well. It is an enjoyable experience all around, so if you're looking for new glosses that have a little shimmer in there, if you're trying to experiment with that, I really do like these ones. All right, y'all, that is it for my mid-monthly favorites, as always. Thank you so much for watching. You know, sometimes sitting down to film a video is a freaking pain and super stressful. Sometimes it is like this, where it's kind of like a form of therapy, a little bit of venting, but while talking about stuff that I love. I end up loving, you know, my videos, the end result either way, you know? But in this case, I'm very thankful for y'all today. And actually, of course, every day, I love y'all. Thank you so much for watching again. If you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.